Madame Croucho. Step up in the place you bring that fire, man. Loaded with the word of God, that's power, man. Holy Ghost embedded, yeah, strength is man. Running down these demons, yeah, we straight shut them down. Yo, what's going on, everyone? We're here with Sky. Leslie Sky. So what the name change? I just wanted to sort of incorporate the, my, my same name with my first name, if that makes sense. So um, there's this guy, I just felt like it went, it went together well, man. And I feel like this is the making of something great. Yeah. For sure, for sure. It's been a long time since Prodigal Son EP one, since we, we met up, linked up and whatnot. How's things been so far? Busy, 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 busy. So like, like most of you all know, obviously, studying and um, Cambridge and all. Um, it's been very busy, very hectic. Um, recently got married as well. Um, Congratulations. Tomorrow's actually a year, so tomorrow's our first wedding anniversary. Um, and um, yeah, it's been really busy, man, really busy. But God's been good, man. He's been faithful. And I, I mean, it's been a season whereby um, one's been trying to find stability um, and a formation as of which we can then sort of springboard and, and, and do what we need to do for the kingdom. And, um, so everything's been put on a halt. Um, but now's the time whereby one's going to really, really go for it, man. Forget that, working with the youth in South London at Salmon Youth Centre. Um, and that's always busy, man. Um, so I'm doing that in conjunction with what I'm doing in Cambridge as well. Um, so yeah, that's always busy, man. You know, um, the youth are in a place whereby they need a lot of support and they need people they can look up to. So. Talking about looking up to, you know, you came from, uh, one would say, a bit of a checkered past in terms of, especially with, you know, uh, your... your um, time in prison um, and also previous lifestyle and so forth that led to that. How does someone from that kind of checkered background find themselves, you know, bypassing the red tape of Cambridge? How did you get to make that happen? Um, I guess pers persistence um, and faith, persistence, faith and just hope and trust in the Lord that, you know, he's going to make things work out. Um, I didn't ever dream or think I could get into such a, an institution, but, you know, God is good, man. And um, my faith in him, he obviously made the path bright and um, I just walked in that, in that, in that light man and um, yeah he opened doors that I didn't think he would open um, so now it's just important that I stay on that path um, and that I, I remain a role model for these youngsters that are, are, are looking for role models and looking for people they can aspire to be like um, so yeah man I mean staying on that path there um, it's not easy it's not easy and, and, and I say it's not easy in light of being there it requires a lot of me you know, when I go there and study, it's not easy, it's intense, but the fact that I'm there, I know I've got to make it happen. So I've got to take time out, I've got to prioritise my time to study, to read, and to do all that I need to do in order to get the grades. Um, so that's one side of things, and obviously with that same energy, with that same um, sort of passion, I need to use that for the same purpose of the Lord, you know what I'm saying, in terms of music, and in terms of ministry, and all of that, so it's that same sort of energy I'm using, I'm using, I'm using all in life, Christ. And how do you balance university and music at the same time? It's very hard. I'm still trying to find balance now, bro. Um, I haven't got it yet, but by the grace of God, man, I'll get it, man. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. Yeah, that's really good to hear. You know, being a role model for the youngsters coming up, you know, and that there's another way and that it can be done as well, especially with the grace of God. It can be done with hard work as well. You know, it's good to hear that. And so, Pro Prodigal Son, EP1, I mean, how's the journey been since from that that time? It's been a journey. I mean, um, Prodigal Son EP1 was recorded in 2016 and I released it 2017. Um, 777. Um, <laughs> and I mean, Prodigal Son EP2 was recorded 2017, but it's coming out in 2019. But the reason being why I do it like that is because you just never know what life might throw at you. Um, so the, the music has been done years back, but we're now ready to put it out, you know what I'm saying? So I want to get to a place whereby I can make fresh music and bring it out in its proper time, do you understand? I don't want to have to wait a year and then bring out a, a tune or a, or a project or a video, you know? I want it to be consistent and I'm in a place whereby I'm in talks with certain people trying to get management because the balance is hard, do you understand? So by the grace of God, man, we'll get there, man, we'll get there. Um, but it's, it's important to just stay in the will of God, man, and 
you know, continue to just push forth and do all that we can do, you know, whilst we have the time. Um, so yeah, I'm not waiting around for management. If management do come, by all means, like if it's if it's if it's feeling right and, 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 and seeming like it's what God wants one to do, then yeah, by all means I'll go forth with that because I need the support. But at the same time, um, yeah, I'm just pressing on man, I'm pressing on getting things done. Um, so 2019 is a year whereby I really wanna get a solid track. Um, solid list of material, solid list of tracks um, sort of compiled together and God willing I, I can bring out my um, album 2020. Yeah, album, I mean seriously like, you know you did EP1, is this Prodigal Son EP2 coming out? Prodigal Son EP2, um, so I'm going to do a compilation of tracks, um, maybe like a 4 or 5 track CD um, before the actual album. So that's the plan, 2020 God willing, I can bring out my album, but if the foundations ain't set right, I'm praying it will be set right, then I'll have to put it on hold, but um, that's the plan, that's the plan, 2020 to bring out an album, um, so the work needs to be done now. Yeah. So like Flame On, I mean seriously man, a bag of man come down, you know, ladies as well, supporting the cause. I mean, seriously, it was it was electric in there. How do you feel like the recordings went so far? Yeah, I think it's been so far so good, man. I'm um, still got a few more bits and bobs to shoot, but um, yeah, no, it's really been powerful. Had some of the youngsters come down as well, and to to see and get their their support as well is always a blessing. Do you know what I mean? It means that um, they're in favour of what we're doing. Do you know what I mean? So um, yeah, man, it's really important that. Um, you know, we continue to strive forth and, and, and do what's required of us, man. Do you know what I mean? We saw makeup going on some of the, the opposition team to represent, like, spiritual forces of wickedness. So tell us about the video and the song, Flame On, what that, what that means. So Flame On is basically an exemplification of, um, obviously, a physical game, to state the obvious, but also the spiritual activities that take place within this walk that we're walking in, this race that we're racing in. Um, there's a spiritual element to it and if we don't open our eyes and see that spiritual element we'll be getting rinsed by the enemy basically so I wanted to show within the video that although we're playing basketball and although we're playing and whatever whatnot there's a spiritual force behind the opposite team and the opposite team was the enemy um, so until we huddled up and prayed together we couldn't beat them to understand so until we actually lock on and realize what we're called to do here on earth for the kingdom until we take it up to the lord we're not gonna be fit for the for the for the bout for the fight to understand for the game for however you want to put it whatever it looks like if we don't put on the full armor and if we don't adhere to the calling of Christ we're not going to be fit and what does being fit look like it means praying it means fasting it means reading the word daily do you understand and spiritually feeding yourself so essentially we wanted to sort of show that within within the game um, so in praying and in huddling up and coming together as a body we was then able to defeat the evil forces and we won the game um, to, spoil, to spoil the little um, video video snippets and sneak peeks and that yeah we won the game obviously and that's because we joined together and we came in the name of the lord and he obviously he get me so like you know like when i look at what you're doing in there it was a, it was really good you saw the concept of everything come together and the storyline is very simple and it comes across um very effectively i found um but there are you know in this new wave generation of 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 believers don't really believe in that side of christianity demons devils Riches, warlocks, wizards, and all those kind of things, and spiritual wickedness in high places. They don't believe in that. You know, what would you say to people who don't believe in demons and devils and the devil? Mm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's a saying that the devil's best trick is to make you believe he doesn't exist, and that's scary. And if you think about it deeply, if he can make you believe that he doesn't exist and he really does exist, he's going to be running rings around you. Do you understand? Because you've believe the lie, do you understand? But Christ came to set the captives free. Christ is the truth, do you understand? And by receiving Christ, you're exposed to the truth, do you understand? Um, so we're knowing the truth. These things that are almost um, blockades to your vision, physically, spiritually, you're able to see past and think, hold on, what's the meaning of life? What's on the other side? I drive past the graveyard, there's so many different graves. How much people have been here before me? So after I die and I have a grave 
like a gravestone. Where am I going? Where's my destination thereafter? Is there a destination thereafter? It has you question these things and he brings the answers. Do you understand? So until we open ourselves up to wanting to know truth and find truth, we're going to be stuck in a lie. Do you understand? Yeah. Sound, bro. Sound. Um, so... Um, obviously we know this song it comes off of Prodigal Son EP2 brilliant um, uh, so what can we look for musically from you in the future what other you know Prodigal Son EP2 is looking to drop very soon you know what, what, what where's your psyche at um, so I've got a whole I'm changing up my style I've got a whole new batch of things coming that I've been working on and writing um, I had a writer's block for a while because I hadn't you know picked up the pen in a while but um, the Lord's broken that and yeah we're getting writing again and I've got a whole new star coming through that I'm not going to say too much about now but when the time comes I'm going to I'm gonna unleash so um, yeah man I've got a whole new star coming through and um, I'm excited to, to get some things going man That's good to hear man um, even I saw how you had a more of a melodic start to your, ver your first verse um, and halfway through as well you had that kind of like praise the Lord part you know what I mean like, I think that was a uh, Maybe that might be an insight, who knows, into what what the future holds. Um, now, I'm not going to put you on the spot, but could you give us a 16 bar? Nothing was the same. He shined his light upon my face. Rescued my soul the day I was acquainted by his grace. Listen, sin is sweet, but my Lord's grace be sweeter, bro. I was cheating on Shanita while weighing up with Tanita like blurry vision, wicked scales, and away to hell. Screaming money was my God, then I wish him well. I bagged my luck, I bet soon I'd be in cuffs. See, I swore on a Bible when I lied to the judge. Uh. I was swimming on the ends, I mean, living on the edge Trying to make amends of the broken home I came from Broken home I was raised from No father figure for a son She did a one-up pop, she ought to put your thumbs up From the city where them guns buck and influence miners They got a shank tuck Back in the day we just swung out like some nunchucks See it's crazy how the generations change, it's a shame Big Yo fam, I'm going on a quick fire though, yeah? And see what you to your sponsors. You can only give me one answer of the options I give you. Okay. Uh, Android the Apple. Adam, I had to do it. Apple. Football or basketball? For the sake of this, basketball. Hip hop or drill? Hip hop. Pop or rock? That's a trick question, man. <laughs> Ah, uh, can I say neither? No, no. Ah, rock then, go on. Mercedes or Audi? Mercedes. Church on Sunday or midweek meet? Both. And I don't care what you say, both. Because I do both. <laughs> old, old or New Testament? Both. <laughs> you got to give me one at least, like. <laughs> Alright, um, all black or all white? All white. Nike or Adidas? <laughs> and this one, Bizzle or Lecrae? Oh, Bizzle, Bizzle, Bizzle. Bizzle, 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 yeah. Sound. Sky, it's been a pleasure. Much love, yeah, and all the best for the future. Make sure you go and check out Sky on KCMix.com and also on social media as well. Big things, lessons. In